Okay guys, so I just got back from the otolaryngologist. Otolaryngologist. The doctor for the... the... oh god. It's an ENT, an ear, nose, and throat doctor, and what they do is they check to make sure everything's working okay here, here, here. Alright, if you noticed, I'm not shaven. I have a beard. Um, but I swear it's only because I'm doing something with this for Halloween, which is in a few days. So usually I'd be clean shaven, I wouldn't look like this bearded mess. But anyways, um, I went to the otolaryngologist because I was having some issues with my singing. This has been happening for the past two weeks. When I was through with like 10 or 20 minutes of singing, it would feel like I've been singing for like four or five hours. It, this immense pain would be happening. The sound would just stop. Like, I'd be singing and then the sound just wouldn't be there anymore. Uh, the pain was absolutely immense. Uh, there's no real way to describe it other than uh, when I was talking, things were fine. It wasn't so much of a hurt, but um, I was losing notes in my register. I, I really was not able to really perform up to what I was supposed to be doing, and we were scared that it could have been something like vocal notes, uh, something really destructive on the vocal cords. Um, thank God uh, I went to this guy, and uh, it's none of the above. He did a... I think it's called a laryngoscopy? Google. Alright, Google confirms my suspicion. It was called a laryngoscopy. And they take this fiber optic camera and they put it in your nose and it goes back in your nasal cavity and then it goes down your throat and it goes all the way down to look at where your vocal cords are. So, here's a quick run through. I walked into the room and I was kind of scared because there are these massive machines. Um, this one is the one that the they numb you with and they give you a decongestant. One is the machine that is a computer that does all the work for looking at the back of your throat and whatnot. Uh, I sat down and they put those, uh, instead of having like a little spray, uh, well, I don't know if I have anything like that near here, but instead of having one of those decongestants that you like spray into your nose, this was like a legit like air compressed machine where they just put this tube up your nose and it just shoots that decongestant all the way back there. And then they numb your nasal cavity and that is not a cool feeling. It goes down your throat and it tastes bad. After about 10 minutes, it takes you know 10 minutes for the medicine to kick in. Um, doctor comes in, looks at my nose, my ear. He got the machine started up. He took the uh, cable and he proceeded to go into my nostril. Past, uh, I guess there's this little fold right here that's kind of difficult to get through. And then down my throat. Um, now, I have a video of this. Um, and this really is not for the faint of heart. Uh, it's a very graphic video. Uh, for people that don't like seeing, you know, saliva, mucus, or... or like muscles or anything like that really I do not recommend watching this video um, so you can't say I haven't warned you please don't watch this video and what's following if you're faint of heart without any further ado um, here's the uh, the part they start higher up so at first you don't really see um, the vocal folds but you're gonna be looking at this image and the top of the screen is the back of my throat and the bottom of the screen is actually the end of where the tongue is meeting down here so here we go mama made some lemon jam <laughs> Sorry. mama made some lemon jam Yum! Alright, well, that was the extent of it. What you saw there was the uh, vocal folds moving faster at a higher pitch and slower at a lower pitch. 
Um, they didn't find anything wrong. There were no nodules, nothing. Uh, he just said that there was some extra mucus on there representing that I was maybe dehydrated. Um, he also noticed that um, I'm very vocal fatigued, which uh, he says I've been, I've been doing too much and that I need to go on vocal rest for the rest of this week, which means that the last thing I'm saying this week is talking to you right now in this video. I'm really happy because that means that I will be fine in the future, nothing to worry about, no damage. But it's always great to get scopes. Um, it's really not that uncomfortable. It's just weird feeling a little bit. But other than that, if you are a vocalist, you really should get scoped. It's uh, it's definitely something I'm going to hold on to that DVD for the rest of my life. Um, if I ever have vocal issues in the future, go back to the DVD and look at what's going on then and see what's going on now. Hope you enjoyed, um, and I'll see you guys later.